going and say, hey, you know, the older guys are a little nervous with you. Come tell the older guys, hey, man, you know, those young guys, they come. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a good mixture in the room. I think the most important thing is competition will be there. And um, the accountability kind of to do right on and off the field is going to make a big difference in that room and how much playing time you get. Right now, all the talk is kind of around Lynn, I mean, for obvious reasons, but um, Isaiah Epps is kind of a guy that's kind of thrown under the radar. He's super polished for being only playing football for one real season. Um, What type of potential do you see him having? He's a great route runner. I mean, uh, when I watch the film, for him to be able to do the things he he can do on film, you know, um, I remind me of myself a little bit as far as football, being able to come in and out of breaks, um, body control, basketball player. I went and watched him play basketball. Um, I'm, I'm excited about the kid. Uh, the fact that we were able to go into Oklahoma and um, kind of steal him a little bit because no one really knew who he was. I think it's going to it's going to be awesome. Uh, I think all all five of those guys are going to do a great job this year. He's the first commit out of Oklahoma since you know for almost two three decades almost. Um, is that an area you guys plan on hitting a little bit more going forward? I'm not sure, but you know um, you kind of scour the, the uh, Twitter world, social media world, and every now and then you get a good hit and you know. The thing that I was, I think we all were worried about was, you know, those schools out there. Once we connected with them, those schools out there seeing the um, activity between us um, and getting a little antsy and a little jealous and trying to come in in the last minute. But we were able to hold them all, hold those guys off, and um, we have them. So we're excited about that. And if, we, if, if it comes about again, we'll we'll try it again. But I think this kid will do very well. How excited are you about a guy like uh, Jake Yonte? Mm-hmm. Jig, <laughs> the big Jig, <laughs> Mr. Richardson. Uh, we're real excited about it. I mean, he's a serious kid, too. Uh, the recruiting process with him, you know, he didn't smile a lot, but when he did, you knew he meant it. Uh, just, I, I love everything about him. Very serious. One wants to be, you can tell he wants to be the best. He wants to do whatever it takes to, to be the best. and. Uh, that's going to help our room because he's going to push some of those guys. And, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him get on the field early. 6'4", 6'5", mm-hmm. 220, whatever he is. I mean, we haven't seen a lot of guys like that around yeah. here, that big SEC prototype yeah. wide receiver. I mean, what, yeah. what can he do once he gets out there? Well, you know, play physical. And this is a, this is a grown man conference. Um, SEC, you know, they don't call a lot of defensive pass interferences. So, you got to be able to get off that ball. You got to be able to push and pull and touch and scratch and claw and everything else to uh, get down the field. And when you're big and physical like that, and, you know, we have some big physical guys like Ross and, uh, you know, Blake Bone and, and Dorian. So, you know, he'll fit right into the mix, uh, Tabor Richardson. So, he's only going to enhance that group. I'm sure you've been asked this already, but, but with Lynn, what do you think he brings to this offense? Ooh. Lynn brings a lot, and uh, we're excited about getting Mr. Mr. Lynn. I don't want to mispronounce his last name. I don't know if it's Bowden or Bowden, whatever it is, it, it, it equals excitement. You know, so maybe I should just call him Mr. Excitement. So we're excited about him, man. Um, I can't wait. You know, can't wait to see the kid. I can't wait to see all all five of those kids. So I just really believe it's going to make our group better. We'll see um, even more improvements than we did last year. Cleveland Thomas is a guy we got to meet last week. Um, a lot of people think he might play right away as a slot receiver. What, what do you think he brings Man, I mean, see, with all, even all that, you know, it's a lot of slots, a lot of outside guys. I mean, hell, we might have to go five wide. You know, and then, then Benny gets mad, so it's uh, we've got a lot of talent. And that's a good thing. You know, that really is a good thing. It's a... Uh, it's a great problem to have that you have guys that um, that are going to work hard, and, and the best guy is going to be out there on the field. And you know that if that best guy goes down or it's not having that day, there's a guy that behind him that's going to replace him, and it's not going to be a fall off. And that that um, that level of uh, competition, that guy who's uh, who gets his opportunity, he might get to stay in there. 
things. Um, that, but that's what you want. You want guys eager to to compete, not things given to them. Um, because at the end of the day, when, when the game's on the line, you got to be able to compete. Vince talked a few times about seeing guys recruiting, and then he's got to hide them from Coach Stoops. So he wants yeah. them to steal them for the defense. Yeah. So how often do you got to do that? Hey, he's the, he's the head coach, man. I, I just you know. When, do whatever he says, you know, he's the boss. But, um, you know, just always try to mention to him how dynamic he is and how we can put points up keep your guys off the field. That's fair. That's fair. That's um, with guy, he, he mentioned Cleveland, Cleveland a second ago. How, uh, what are some of the little things that, like, a guy can learn by coming over there like, that are really benefit on the field? Well, first of all, you get acclimated to college. I mean, what I've always said about coming in early, you don't. You, now you're not stressed. You get to go through spring practice. You're not coming in and getting those two weeks and trying to impress. Usually, what happens? Those guys get hurt. They pull muscles because they haven't been used to training. So now you're training like a, a college uh, kid, and, and you get those weeks to um, to get acclimated. How uh, how important is it that they have a lot of seniors too to to look up to to kind of be able to show them the ropes. It's always important, but, you know, the right souls. And I think in that room we have the right seniors that will, um, will help these guys and, and, and show them the right way. And, and uh, you know, this program has come a long way. And those guys have been through a lot. And I think they they like where it is right now. And I think they're going to talk to them about where it is right now and where, where it needs to stay. There's a, for the fans, you know, with Stoops and Merrill and Clink, mm -hmm. they're always thinking about all the Ohio guys. Mm -hmm. But there's more Florida guys in this class. You're getting yeah. a lot more. How important is it to get guys from Florida? It's a good mixture. I mean, uh, one thing I can tell you about Florida kids, because uh, that's where I'm from, they will compete. And um, you can coach them as hard as you want, they're going to compete. Um, and you mix that with Ohio kids, which tradition in football, I think it's a great mixture. Um, I think if you look at Ohio State, they've been a really good team. They've, they've gone down to Florida and gotten kids that, that, has, that has helped them, including Ohio kids. So um, I think it's a good thing. And I think that's why you know, during the hiring process, we talked about recruiting and uh, you know, the fact that Eddie and I will be able to go down to South Florida and uh, get some. Kids. How excited are you that you got a receiver group that's like four deep at every spot? I'm <laughs> it is exciting. It's, uh, it's, it was like uh, Christmas this morning. You know, it really was. It felt like I was 12 years old back in Ocala, Florida. The presents were open and I was happy. So, uh, you know, now I get to you know, have some, have open a couple of those tours for spring and then uh, when the season, right before the season starts, get to open a couple more. So, it's, it's going to be a great one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Is there any update on Jeff Bidette's stat um, as far as final destination? Um, I've heard a little bit of whispers of West Virginia. Is, have there been talks with that at all? Um, you know, I've had a couple people call. And, um, you know, it's just I've been giving them a uh, blessing or whatever. You know, it's a couple, it's been a couple schools. Man. It's been uh, a lot of schools that, that have uh, inquired about it, and uh, it's a good thing for him. Hey, do you guys have anybody penciled in kind of to replace him? Because I know Steven had a lot of comfort throwing the deep ball to him. Is there anybody that you guys have? Um, I mean, as far as replacing him, I mean, it, it's, a, it's an open battle over there. I mean, it's, um, you know, it could be a number of guys that, you know, uh, it just depends on who wants to step up and go get it. You know, um, the great thing about it, I got a couple of choices. So that's that's an awesome thing. Unlike um, not having any choices, where you're like, oh, who was going to replace me? I got guys that are, I think, I'm almost positive to say, hey, I want it. So I'm good with that. Thank you.